Hey stranger, um, I just kind of wanted to do a quick one take life update thing um, because I haven't made a video in a while and there's been a lot happening in my life. So um, basically I just got my second surgery on my clavicle right there, still kind of in the healing process. Um, uh, I had to get the plate removed, I had a plate in there because I broke my clavicle really bad a while ago. Don't really want to go into it too much because I think I've talked about it in previous videos, but I also just recently moved into a new apartment with my partner, which is really awesome because it's about $250, $275 cheaper than our last place, and it's actually bigger, um, so it's really great because we were having kind of a hard time affording the last place because my partner is just working minimum wage in a kitchen, and I'm living off disability assistance, which is probably too much information, but I don't care. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, so everything's going pretty well. I spent the summer working, actually, I was working in an office. Um, I don't know if I should say the organization that I was working for, but I got a job working for a LGBT advocacy organization. Um, that I was really excited to be working for, and I actually spent the summer writing um, and editing education modules that will be used to k train uh, teachers K through 12 across Ontario on trans inclusion and sensitivity. So that's really awesome, and I'm really proud of the work that I was able to do there. And I'm so fortunate that I was able to even get that job. It was such an amazing experience. Um, so that's been really good. Like, I feel like that's kind of like the first, like, major thing that I've been able to do in real life as far as, you know, trans advocacy and education. Um, and so, yeah, um, apparently next year, um, all the teachers across Ontario are going to have to be trained in trans inclusion and sensitivity, including non-binary people and including like using um, like gender neutral pronouns and titles and stuff like that, so that is just so exciting to me. Um, so that's that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I actually had to drop out of school last year. I've been going to, um, I go to a small art school, uh, it's a career college for um, comic book illustration, um, and I absolutely love it there, like, it's a really amazing school, um, and it has helped me so much, even just, like, in the one semester that I was there, um, like, I'm really excited about this school, and unfortunately I had to drop out in the second semester of my first year last year because I got a wrist injury related to my, um, shoulder injury due to um, muscle atrophy and things like that. I wound up like tearing a ligament and they could never really figure out what was wrong with it. Um, but I couldn't draw so I had to drop out last semester but I'm going back there um, to the same school in a month, less than a month, in like three weeks, two weeks, I don't know. Um, so that's really exciting. I'm really um, happy to be getting back into school and getting back into like making art and kind of developing my skills in that way because this school has actually been really productive for me. I've gone to other art schools that I don't really feel benefited me at all and it was really just like literally just a huge waste of my time and money. But this place definitely isn't. I care so much about this school and it's helped me so much so I'm really excited to be going back to school. Um, although I'm also really nervous <laughs> because that means having to come out to a bunch of new people which is never something that I like to do. Um, I basically just have like patches on my clothes that say like they them, but then people don't know what that means because they don't know what pronouns are. And I just kind of do everything that I can do to make myself very visibly non-binary, but people still don't really get the message on it and then they just kind of like assign me whatever gender they feel like I look like at the time and then everyone's like he, no, she, no, it, no, they. and then. They just kind of like come to some sort of consensus among themselves based on gauging my reactions as to whether I am male or female and then just like decide that I'm male and then I just kind of have to live up to that for the rest of the time that I'm in school. So that's what happened last year and I'm really hoping that I can avoid that this year because people just assuming that I'm male, like assigned male at birth um, and having to live up to that um, as far as passing when I don't bind and I'm not on testosterone 
is really, really stressful. So I'm hoping that, like, I've just kind of, like, made a decision um, within myself that I'm just going to be really upfront and kind of brutal about my gender identity. And I'm just going to tell people, I'm going to be like, like, whatever they make an assumption about me, be like, actually, I'm non-binary and try to educate people and try to enforce you know, they, them pronouns, because just having people assume me as any binary gender is just so stressful, having to, like, live up to the expectations associated with that gender. Um, so, yeah, those are my feelings about starting school soon. Um, as far as things to do with gender identity, because that's what this uh, vlog channel is mainly about, I'm still waiting to get into my first appointment to get assessed for top surgery funding uh, through CAMH and I've been on the wait list now for god I don't even know um, two years about um, total wait time since I decided I want top surgery has been ugh, like three years almost four years um, so I've been waiting for this for a really long time and I'm just getting kind of frustrated because um, I have chronic pain as I've mentioned in pretty previous videos which really affects my ability to bind so I can't really wear a binder on a regular basis. Um, I have found that since I bought the, G the GC2B it's been a lot easier for me to use and so that hasn't been so bad I can wear the GC2B like all day sometimes on like good days and so that's been good. Um, but still, like, I just got another surgery, so I'm not going to be able to bind for probably several months. Um, and it's just been really stressful having to exist and go to work and be out as a trans person and not being able to bind. And I feel like people at my work were kind of, like, not, like, being weird, but just, like, maybe it was just me being paranoid. But I feel like they were kind of, like, side-eyeing me when I, like, because I didn't bind at work at all. And, um like, when I brought up that I wanted to get top surgery, they were kind of, like, surprised because they didn't think that I was actually transitioning, and, um, I don't know, it's just been really uncomfortable being, like, having everyone know that I'm trans, but also just, like, not binding, and so I've been really anxious to get into CAMH to kind of get things moving as far as getting top surgery, and I've been waiting for two years now, um, through, like, on their wait list, and, um, they told me when I first got the referral that I would be having my first appointment sometime between May and July and it's now, I think it's like August 18th, August 19th, I don't know what day it is um, right now, so it's like the third week of August and I still haven't heard back from them and I've called them, like I call them like every couple of months to like check where I am and every time that I call them they give me a later date, <laughs> so now they're saying that I could get in any time between now and um, October. Um, which, you know, like, it's soon, but I still don't really know when that's gonna happen, and I'm afraid that if I call them again, they're gonna be like, yeah, sometime between now and December, like, you know, because they just keep bumping it back more and more. Um, so I'm just really hoping that I can get in there sometime soon, so that I can get this taken care of, so that I can just get on with living my life. Um, and, yeah, um... I've been off testosterone for a year now, and I'm actually pretty happy being off testosterone, but I've started to pass less lately, um, and so I'm thinking of going back on for a while, but I'm actually running out of time on this video. I've only got three minutes left of shooting time because I barely have any room on my phone, so I'm just going to do a really quick tour of my apartment and kind of end this video a little bit abruptly. Um, so this is my apartment. I'll start from back here so that you can get a good view of it. We have so much floor space. It's beautiful. I'm so happy that we have so much floor space. Um, we don't have a kitchen table because we had a kitchen table last time, like at my last apartment, and we never used it and it just like took up clutter. So we're just not going to have a table at this place and if we have people over we're just going to clean the floor and lay down a tablecloth and eat on the floor, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so this is my desk area, if I can tilt the phone so that you can see in a way that's not completely disorienting. Um, I replaced my desk chair with a bouncy ball thing, exercise ball, so that's been really fun. Um, this is the couch, which has a sheet on it because we've been sweating a lot, which is really gross, 
because it's been a major heat wave here for the past while. Um, as you can see, I have herbs on the windowsill, which is kind of cool, being able to have plants inside. Um, this is our tiny kitchen, um, which has our new um, miniature dishwasher thing, which we were able to buy with our tax return a few months ago that I'm really excited about. I only have like a minute left on this video. Ah. So, this is my partner's desk that they have not fully assembled yet, but that's where they're going to be. I'm really just glad that we have, like, it's a really small apartment, but, like, it's really nice to have everything in one room and just have, like, all this floor space and everything against the walls. This is our bedroom, which is my favorite room because it's the room where I sleep. Um, and so this is our bed and things. The bed pretty much takes up most of the room. We got a new bed frame um, from some people in our last building, and I'm really excited about that because I've never had a bed frame before. Um, and we got a lamp from my parents that they were getting rid of. Um, and this is the air conditioner, which is my favorite part of the whole apartment because we've been in a major heat wave and I just got that set up two days ago. Now my apartment's actually cooler than outside, which is amazing. Also, um, I guess I forgot to show this thing, which is the... Ignore my tits. Um, uh, this is our television and PS4, which... Um, we bought last summer that I'm really excited with and it's changed my life and my mom bought us a TV cabinet for a present when I was moving out and that's all the time that I have and so I need to go. Thanks for watching, this is what my life has been and I will see you later. Peace out.